So, I'm at Tasik Lama right now. Um, it's actually almost past five, so sun's a bit, oh, sun's a bit hot. I guess it's okay lah. It's probably not as as hot as at three o'clock in the afternoon. What I'm doing is getting my shoe on. Yeah, Salomon. These shoes are actually the best. Uh, they don't provide that much cushioning compared to the Hoka or even their cushy cushy long run lines. But very good grip. Really loving the grip on this one. It's a bit pricey, but it'll last you quite a bit. Um, unless, of course, you go like for ultra marathons every other weekend. So. If you do, this is probably not the shoe for you. What I've always really wanted to do is to get some nice pictures of the trail itself. But I have never been able to, you know, fully um, realize that goal because one, I care too much about running that I don't really take the time to go have a nice shot of the scenery lah. Basically, in the in the job, berapa mikirkan, you know, kan ngambil gambar aratasik trail satu. It's usually just run, run, just get it out of the way, go back, grab a drink, go back home. So today, um, I might be wearing, you know, my Adidas jacket. Uh, my, my Adidas jacket. Why am I? Why am I even a Adidas jacket? It's hot outside. So what I'm doing now is, um, even though I'm wearing my running gear, I'm not actually going to run today. I'm just going to take a few minutes, um, get some nice um, B-roll footage, um, you know, slow motion, creamy slow motion of the place. Take a few snaps here and there, um, and then I'm done. Then it's back home again. So yeah, well, let's do this. Follow me. You're adoring I got places to go I got angles to show Oh Gonna make you look far Gonna leave you wanting more Oh So right now I'm climbing up the stairs Aratasik Lama um, holding this big big camera hopefully my hands can stand it Whew. you can see Whew. so siapa yang tahan naik tangga tu well done to you lah it's really it's really long long stairs Especially if your legs are weak or you've been running for quite a bit somewhere down there. So as I go down this slope, oh dear, oh, okay. I would like to talk to you about camera gear. So what I have with me right now is my SLR, the Canon, the Canon, the Canon ESR, that's EOS R. And then what I have is the video micro, the road video micro, and the most important one of all is the Joby Gorilla Pod. So that's what I'm using to keep everything all together in check. So this lens that I have with me now, it's actually supposed to be image stabilized so i am actually testing it if it's image stabilized right now so hopefully if you can see the image should not be too shaky 
because the thing with the Canon EOS R is that it doesn't have in-body stabilization so in the case of you not having a proper lens that has image stabilization it simply put will not have uh, a smooth image so I think that is probably one of the things that have to factor in when you when you have this camera lah. because if you don't have an image stabilized camera and if you don't have an image stabilized lens then your footage is probably going to be a little bit more shaky than usual I do, I do it well I fly, I fly as hell People say so, people say so I swim like silk and suede I'm cool as custom made People say so, people say so Mannequin, window dreaming Seek that glory Don't talk to me. I always use, well, I used to do it um, on the phone, which was using Luma Fusion. So, with Luma Fusion, it's actually quite simple. It's for the iPhone. I'm not sure about Android though, but for the iPhone, it's a really good all in one editing software. So, everything is within the phone itself. Napayah can, you know, go to any other app, so everything is in there. Um, only thing is, it's not actually free. So I think, all in all, what I had to pay for the Luma Fusion app is around 24, 24 US ka? Yeah, basically it's like more than 10 US lah. If you want the added features, so that's one of the things have to think about lah. Ah, sunlight. Ah. Okay, so that's the thing that you have to think about lah because one of the drawbacks to LumaFusion is of course it's paid lah um, but other than that, if you're willing to pay for it, it's more than enough to cater to your video editing lah is if you are planning to edit your video and we shall go down here because someone is approaching me uh, one of the things that you should check out is uh, DaVinci Resolve. So they just came out with a new version, DaVinci Resolve 16. It's actually free, so no need to pay. Um, but most people will say, if it's free, is it any good? Especially on the laptop. Actually it is. Um, one of the things that uh, DaVinci Resolve does well is editing, so you get like the full suite of stuff um, you can edit almost like the pros do but the only disadvantage is Attila, if you are shooting in 4k resolution or if you have footage that's 120 frames per second which 120 frames per second is actually slow motion lah. slow motion footage so you can't edit on the free version then you have to go for the the studio version lah, which is Expensive, I think it's around 300 Canadian dollars. What's Canadian dollars? I have no idea, but um, that's the thing. Lah. But other than that, those are the two main things that I use to edit, lah. which is actually enough for me because you know, don't really have to pay so much for editing software. I mean, what's the point if you pay so much for editing software and then in the end, all you just do is you know, just upload normal stuff on. YouTube or on IG. That's it really. Uh, I'm actually quite surprised that I can vlog and hold on to this camera for so long using the the Gorilla Pod. Oh, and just so you know, I'm actually using a filter in front of this camera, which means I don't really have to think about dirt getting into my precious precious lens because the filter itself much cheaper than the lens 
and I don't have to think about you know dirt or dust getting in the lens it's all right I'm all good you know what kind of should have started my watch because I'm getting a good amount of distance here oh yeah maybe in hindsight I should have started my watch lah sayang oh well it's the whole point is not to have a run lah although it seems like I'm doing a nice job at running just to get some good pictures lah uh, I have some nice pictures already uh, took a nice nap I think I'll upload it to IG very soon once I finish editing it but other than that yeah I think I'm done for now Whew. now now I'm actually kind of using both both of my hands to hold this camera up I think that's the signal that I'm done for today thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe